Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. I'm just showing off here that you can go ahead and go on to Mark. It'll bring you back exactly where you were, but now if you try and just turn off the game, you'll go back to the beginning of this time set. If you wish to interrupt your adventure again, <laughs> game, in case you didn't know that this was a game, speak to me, the one you have marked to prove your counter. Encounter. You have to go around and you have to mark them first, which is why we wouldn't have been able to do that as a Deku kid, because we need our sword to do that. Now, before we do anything else, I'm going to uh, show off something that you should probably do every chance you get. And I will explain what I mean by that in a few moments. But first, I'm just going to say that I'm planning today, tonight, and for this weekend to record a lot, a lot of videos, because, well, I haven't in a while, that's one reason, but another reason is because it's flu season and it's appearing everywhere, and already I can feel my throat start to itch, and I, I want to get back into making videos. Boom! 100 rupees. I want to get back into making videos, but, you know, I, I won't be able to if I just fell through the floor. <laughs> Anyone else see that? Anyone else see that? Oh, boy. Sometimes I wish I had a Barry Kramer to give, my, to give me some good old-fashioned replays. But anyway. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What was I talking about? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I want to make a lot of them, because I'm going back into making videos, but, you know, if I'm not going to be like, here's my triumphant return, and now my voice is gone, and I, and I sound like Bill Cosby constantly. Anyway, uh, go ahead and deposit. Actually, that, was, that wasn't exactly Bill Cosby, that was more Fat Albert. Okay, so, every single time you go back in the past, it's a good idea to go get those 99 rupees, because they are always there every single time. And you you are going to need money for this game. Just putting that out there. I don't think I can go in. Yes, I know how to use my notebook. <laughs> this is the mighty training center. It's not open right now, is it? I think I need money for it too. Hey, buddy. This training center has friendly, polite, 24-hour one-on-one training that can no notably improve your skills. I'm going to... I am going to need money. I like the noise he makes. I need 10 rupees. Ha! You are going to need to do this. Um... You know what? Yeah, I guess I'll do it now. How many heart pieces do I have? Let's see here. It's been a little while since I did anything. Um... I suppose... Nah. Nah, I'm not going to do that. What's the song of soaring again? Down, left, up, down, left, up. Boop. Down, left, up, down, left, up. Where is my, uh... Uh-oh. Uh Alright, well, while I'm uh, soaring to good old-fashioned woodfall... Let me... Where did I put that? Is it under here? Yes, it is. My, uh... Strategy guide. In case I need it. I'll set it right there. I have a good old setup here with my computer on my uh, desk. On my desk! Okay, so. Here we are. We can't do correctly right now. We need to play the song of her people, aka use the Deku pipes. And uh, the song is this Up, left, up, left. A, light, a. So, you may have been noticing that when I turn into a Deku, I do not have the ocarina. I instead have the Deku pipes. There are a lot of things that were in, like, the beta version and the original designs of this game that they changed. And one of which that they changed was you having your instruments. They always wanted you to have different instruments when you were a different person, a different, you know, creature. But... Originally, it wasn't going to be that the Ocarina of Time would just magically, for some reason, turn into all of them. Instead, it would be that you got those items 
I very nearly fell into the water there. They changed that idea along with several other ideas that I will be mentioning as they come up that I remember at least. Okay, now here's a good uh, example. This is conveyance. You know that you're supposed to wear the Great Fairy's Mask. But you don't know exactly what it does, but here's a fairy. Easy to get to, easy to see. So you just put it on and you see the fairy flies to you. You found a stray fairy. This is your first one. I believe there are 15 in all of the places. So welcome to Woodfall Temple. This is the first uh, dungeon of the game. This game is very short in the dungeon aspect, and it makes up for it in the uh, not dungeon aspect, in that it only has four dungeons, but it has so many side quests, so much to explore, so much to do. Okay, fairy, are you seriously just going to walk away from me there? <laughs> Come on. I am going to try to 100% this game, although getting all the stray fairies is really obnoxious. And I'd prob I'm probably going to not do them as I'm trying to complete the dungeon. I may do it for this one, because this one's relatively easy. But, especially in, like, the third dungeon, which is, like, the worst dungeon in the entire series of Legend of, Z Legend of Zelda. Ew, this stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp! So, obviously, you're going to die if you try and go into that water. Take your stick. They burn well, so you can use them for puzzles and such. It's basically all they're used for. They're, like, two times stronger than your, um, sword, but you really don't want to... Oh, I just died. Maybe not. Oh, maybe. Oh, jeez. Come on. Come on, Link. Oh, no. Get up. That was stupid of me. I love the noise they make. I got a stray fairy. Wait, do, do fairies heal you? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't think there are any other fairies in this room right now that I can get to. Okay, now you gotta be the, uh, Deku and go across on these ugly, weird, freaky plants. Actually, I think there's a fairy in these pots. Yes. I should probably open up the book so that I don't miss any fairies. Um, nope, c careful. Alright. <laughs> Rupees. Alright. Woodfall Temple, the first temple of the game, and one of the easier temples. Obviously, it's the first temple of the game. Th Zelda has a bit of a problem when it comes to, uh, its styles and its, its uh, theming. Normally... It goes with forest, and then, you know, mountain, and then water, and then something else after that. And after that, it starts to change and go into some new stuff. Although it's almost always now forest, fire, water. Um, so many games do that, and it's really just... I wish we moved past it. I mean, I it, it works. Don't get me wrong, the idea works, but it, it would be nice to just move past the whole completely linear forest, mountain, uh, water aspect of the series. It started with Ocarina of Time. I don't think it was, you know, a big deal in any of the previous ones. Because, like, I know I can get this. Maybe I have to stand on one of the, uh... Yeah, okay, I'm getting out of you because you glitched me out. I'm much closer here, anyway. Well, this is fun. There are no crosshairs, so it's a little difficult to hit this. I know I can hit you with this! Maybe I can't. Yeah, I guess I can't. Okay. I have to wait to, to get the item of this dungeon, and gee, I wonder what that is. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, stylistic change. Um, it, it wasn't like that at all in, in the previous ones. I mean, there was really no stylized anything in Zelda 1. It was just, here's a dungeon, you go into it, boom, it's a dungeon. Uh, Zelda, I mean, when you went outside of the dungeon... 
you went outside of the dungeon and you had freaking um how do I get to that? There's a there's a fairy under a bubble there. You can't you, the fairy won't come to you if you bring out the thing if it's in a bubble. So you have to pop its bubble. But I do not know how to do that. Um yeah, that is, Zelda 2 had a bit more stylized, but still the dungeons were all relatively looking the same, so not to any great extent. And then Zelda 3, aka um, Link to the Past, which I have yet to actually let's play, it did it in a much... it. It, it was stylized. It was the first one that was actually stylized. And that... It, it was different from the usual aspect of forest, mountain, water. And then it started with Link... Uh, uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and then... It was like, oh, great! Let's see if the new one comes up with more stylized ideas. Nope. Here's this one, and yeah, I, this is the best game in the series. No doubt about it. But... It could have gone a little bit better with the ideas for the dungeons. Again, the easiest way to kill these guys is as a Deku. Go ahead and go into the thing here. Wait for them to get over you. Like so. Hey, buddy. No, please. Don't hurt me. I'm just a Deku sprout. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to hurt me. Is... I like how it electrocutes you. No, oh, what the flip? Okay, then, sure. Let's go with that. Totally. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That took a little bit while. Uh, a little bit longer than expected, I should say. This dungeon ain't that long. It should take me about this episode. Maybe. Nah, I should be good by this, the end of this episode. Because all my episodes are 30 minutes long now. I kind of feel like they're too long, but no one's really said anything, so. Alright. I don't think there was a fairy in that room. There's a fairy here, underneath of there. I think I need to go come back in later on. I don't think there's a way for me to get that right now. Well, there is! I could go under there and pop it with my body, but I would die because it's poisonous. So, spoilers, you're going to make the swamp not poisonous. Okay, I need to uh, use my Deku sticks again. I guess I'm not going to use my Ocarina for a while. But usually after the Water Temple, it changes a bit, like in, um... Ocarina of Time, the temple after the Water Temple was... The, uh, don't hurt me. Okay, it hurt me anyway. There's something in here. No, just hearts. What was the temple? It was the Shadow Temple, right? Yes, it was the Shadow Temple. And then, in this one, it's... Not... What? Oh, crap. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Ooh, come on, Link, you can do it. Nope. <laughs> oh, Link. You poor sap. They should not have been able to do that. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, it's a fairy. Hey, come back here. I need to bottle you so that that does not occur again. Please? Thank you. You got the thing. Okay. Go ahead and switch back to that. But in this one, the fourth one is kind of... It's actually, now that I think about it, it is kind of spirit-themed. So maybe it... Freaking Majora's Mask! People, when it first came out, people were like, Oh, it's... It's awkward in the time again. Great. It, it, I mean, it has the same exact graphics. Almost exactly. Like, all the people look the same. Although, in a way, I really like that, because, because of the ideas it conveys with that. Did I play the song a double time? 
I don't remember if I did. It's been like two months, as I said. Let me play the song a double time and make sure that I played it. Ah, yeah, I did. It's going... It's going much slower than that. I mean, it's only going to be the second day just now, so... Alright, let's 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 try that room again, this time with a little bit more feeling. I don't think I can push this. Ah, I can. Okay. Is there any way for me to pop that, like, with a bubble, maybe? Let me go ahead and uh, look at the handy-dandy, because I don't want to miss anything. Just saying. Let me pause you so time does not run out. To maneuver through this chamber, you have to exert a little effort on the block. Yes. Um... Catwalk. Paltoa. Defeat with your sword. Backside is exposed by using Deku's bubble attack. Yes, continue the catwalk. However, you can't free it until you find a way to drain the poisonous waters that fill the room. Which I will do. Let's just try not to fall back into the poisonous waters. How's that sound? Okay, we have to go over this direction. And kill this guy again. It's easiest to kill him with bubbles. Okay, so, as you can see, these moths are pretty pissed off about the idea of you stealing their fire. Oh, whoops. I forgot to push this. Much better. Okay, so, you gotta hurry when you have the Deku stick on fire. If you've seen my Let's Play of uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I don't know why I keep, like, naming it like that. But if you've seen that Let's Play, you should know what I mean, because if you go a little bit too slow, it will burn out... Oh, hold on. I think I have a... Okay, then. We need this on fire, and I believe the moths are for some reason going to come at me again for some reason. I really don't know why, but we need to burn the cobweb. Let's just hope they don't knock me down. I remember when I did my test uh, play of this a little bit, a little while ago, they actually did kill me uh, like that. They knocked me into the water, but I think I had the stray fairy, so I lived. I don't fully remember. Be careful, I sense a lot of evil here. And it is a very dark room, so... There are these... what are these called? It's a black bow. Just calm down and attack it. Look, there are a lot of them, that's all. In the first room, there were a lot of these on the ground. These aren't that dangerous, but they will get in a few strikes now and then, so... You gotta be a little bit careful. Just try and kill as many as you can, and light up the room. Light up my yard. Uh, Light up the... thank you. I think there are more around here. Yep. Alright. Well, it doesn't light up the room, but it at least uh, opens up the doorway. So I can get out of this black bow-infested room and into... Oh boy! We all know how I love systematic going through these platforms. These are actually really tricky movements, because, I don't know, they just are, okay? <laughs> it's really hard to do this properly, especially with these things flying around and they're gonna, like, hit you through the air. Make it. No, that did not make it. Wow. Um, I think actually, yeah, hmm, I think you can, isn't there like a way you can infinitely go if you like go, oh, you son of a bitch, he sniped me, sniped me, if you would see 
target on them, that would be nice. Okay. Yes. Alright. There, I got two of them. That's good. Let's go back up and try again. This kind of idea of this gliding would be used again later on in the series. This was a new concept, this gliding. Um, it, was, it would be used later on in uh, Link's Awakening. Excuse me. That is not the game that it would be used in. <laughs> be used in Wind Waker. Frickin' muffins. You heard me. That's really a tricky jump to make. It's because of that tree. It's like in the worst possible location. It caught me last time. Man, I'm hungry. If you like backpedal, you can stay up in the air for longer. Hmm. Alright, I should be able to make it this time. This music's kind of eh. Most of the music of Zelda dungeons I really don't care for. At least in the uh, new games. In as I mean by that, I mean 3D games. Because in the original Zeldas, they were pretty good. Link's Awakening had great ones. Um, all the 2D online... Online? <laughs> all the 2D Game Boy games had really good ones. But for these, just, just a... Just more, um... What's the word I'm looking for? They're not so much music as they are... Just, like, background noise. Although, th there is exceptions. I do really enjoy the song from the Fire Temple. Or at least the version I own. There were two versions. Let's see here. So now we can al always get back up to this floor. We came in through there, and we can go in here. And this room looks familiar, doesn't it? What could be in the pots? Always break the pots, because in this game, they could hold fairies. As I showed earlier. Hey look, it's the first mini-boss- wait, no, never mind. I thought this was something else. A lot of those guys in here. Okay, so this is a Lizalfos. Isn't that? Did not hit him. This guy's a little bit tricky. You have to hit him when he hits you. Whoop! I'm going. I'm. I'm using my. Uh, I'm using my Deku stick because it hits twice. And I have enough for right now. But they do break after one hit, so you gotta be careful with that. And I wonder what this item could be. You got the hero's bow. It's a little bit better than calling it the fairy bow from the last game, I would say. You got the hero's bow, it's a simple bow and arrow. Simple as that. This game had interesting, um, aiming. It's really hard to get used to, although, you know, if you've been playing it since you were freaking five years old, you'll eventually get used to how you're going to do it. It's a little bit above where the arrow is. Alright, so now as you can see, that moves up. Simple, easy peasy. Is there anything over here? I don't remember. And I can't really see it too well. I don't think so. Oh, there is. Okay. Ah, yes. Th I think this is the room with the map. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> These guys are hilarious. Half-lack. Okay, now the way to kill them is similar to the bugs. You wait till they're over you, and then do that. And they drop a lot of parts when you do kill them. Come at me, bro. 
Don't you gangplank me. Come at me. Oh, frick. Affleck. Aha, gotcha. It's a little bit tricky. But you'll get used to it. Oh, get in there. There we go. It's actually pretty fun to kill people using the flowers. It's a very satisfying kill. I believe this is the map. The map! Yeah, <laughs> I like the different animations for the uh, Deku and the human and the other things you will be. Spoilers. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what you'll turn into. Could it be a Gerudo? <laughs> All right, so now we got to get on the center platform to go over here. There's some bees over there. Not the bees. I don't really remember anything special about the bees. Oh, here he is. It's a mini boss. Simple as that. This one's pretty interesting. And now, as you remember, we have to kill Mr. Aflac here by diving. Whoops. I failed. It's a little bit early. He doesn't say Aflac, though, he says it differently. <laughs> I like how he scared the turtle. He's like, no, oh, please. Oh. I was like, why aren't I shooting him? The noise this guy makes. He kind of sounds like, um... What's his name? The guy from Lon Lon Ranch. The one who you, um... raced to get Epona in Ocarina of Time. Oh, too early. Or too late, actually. Frick, too late on that, too. There we go, just right. I think this is the last hit. There we go. <laughs> and then, for some reason, they melt. Hey, look. It's just a normal frog now. That's gonna be important later. You got the thing. You got the boss key, so, you know, simple Zelda. Simple. My, my. Excuse me, let me get my thoughts together so I can stop rambling like an idiot. How long have I been doing this? Um. Well, wow, 30 minutes already. Hmm. It's been going on for a while. Well, alright, I think I'm going to end the video then. Thank you all for watching. Actually, let me finish my uh, sentence that I was saying earlier. You get the boss key and it allows you to open up the boss door and fight the boss. Simple as that. Most Zelda games have that. So now... <laughs> It's like you guys don't know how to play Legend of Zelda. You're just watching me to see me go like, ah, flowers. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. See you all then.